<laughs> We're literally doing this and then it's coming back out because it's dangerous as f <laughs> Josh has got something exciting. He's picked up some bikes and I need to look at it. I struggle sometimes to get excited about the, you know, the bikes because I don't know what the f I'm talking about. Um, so I'm going to try and be really excited. I, obviously now I know what I can see. Yeah, but they, like, you're unloading. Yeah, all right, about me. Yeah, I just realised what I was saying. Yeah, so I obviously know, like, to get excited about Huskies and KTMs. Um, and that's about it, really. So we'll see what happens. I can have a look. So shall I? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm looking at I'm looking at two motorbikes. Okay, get yours. KTM. Nailed it, right? Uh other bike. And a The free thing. <laughs> I don't uh, I don't understand I don't I don't understand what he's got. It's like a ooh. <laughs> I took two of us to load. Yeah. What what is uh what, what size is that? One two five. Okay, I'm getting I figured it was one two five. I'm getting pretty good at that. But I'm not that bothered about that. I'm bothered about that because it's free. I'm not surprised it's free. What the f it's like <laughs> it's like a it's like a it's like an office chair <laughs> on a piece of metal with a kid's steering wheel on it. Do you know how fun that's gonna be when it's done? It's going to be sketchy, sketchy fun. Really? Because it just looks like... Wait, we're supposed to sell that? Someone's going to pay for that? Probably, when it's done. But I... I'd buy it. I don't, I, like... Let's get it out. Yeah, let's get it out, let's get it out. Um, he's so really excited about this. The more it's going into the light, it's getting worse. It's getting worse, man. Look at the <laughs> tires. Yeah, it needs new tires. Yeah. Right, now look, that looks like a lawnmower engine. Oh, that's what it is. It is a lawnmower engine. Are you serious? So, right. So I'm supposed to be excited. Huh? <laughs> it basically, it's pretty much for kids, but we're going to make it dangerous. Oh. <laughs> okay, so have you made, like, go-karts before? No. Oh, okay. You've been in them? No. <laughs> to be fair, like, as a kid, like, I would have f***ing loved one of these. As a kid? I can enjoy it with a two-stroke engine in it. Seriously, like, when you got in it, you looked so... I hope I actually got the camera on you, because you genuinely looked so happy. <laughs> I'd say easily, easily pleased. Okay. Okay. So today, I'm going to do the build. So the idea plan, we've now got the bike to do it, so this is where we're going to start doing it. We've got a 2009 uh, KTM SX150 engine to go in it. We've got the full bike. I should potentially ride in that this weekend to dial the engine in while it's in the bike. So it's going to make it easier for me putting this to then tune it in. This will be, it'll be a bit harder. So the idea plan will be get this engine out today. And then the structure wise, we might have to chop this bar off, move it back a bit and put this back on. So I want to keep this on just in case it does flip and it doesn't damage anything, you know, the engine's right back. So we'll definitely list this bar on so we could probably have to move that back a bit. I order some tires, four tires for it. Um, the engine's going to sit where it sits now, roughly. I don't definitely know until we start playing about with the engine out of the KTM, um, how it's actually gonna sit properly. 
uh, the gear lever because obviously you've got to change gear on that this is rev and go you've got to change gear so the gear shift will come out the engine and then we'll weld the bar so it comes up maybe inside here or out here on a shift lever that'll go up with a clutch on it oh sorry so the clutch will be so it'll come across up on a bar and then the gear lever will be there uh, so you lift up and down like that with, with your clutch on one finger is the ideal rough plan of action um so yeah so anyway so those builds will be coming so stay tuned for that um because it's a ktm engine going in this we will spray the frame uh, orange a few ktm stickers um so on and so on uh, just to make it look the part better than this blue so that's the update on this I'll get the engine out now um, and go from there. So, see you in a sec. So it's definitely seen better days. But if anybody needs any parts off, just let me know. I need pull, pull cord. all that works fine still so just give me a shout if you need anything you can take it if you want it and there we are ready for the ktm engine we're riding it at h2o uh, this weekend just because the ktm's detonated again long story short got too much fuel in somehow and um, it's detonated after the three hours so with the h2o when i said it was knocking again that was why it's detonated so possibly new piston and conrad again um yeah it sucks balls it happens so i think that's going to be it for today we'll stick this to one side i just want to get that engine out and we'll see you in the next one Okay, so after riding yesterday, this is what it looks like. The gear lever did round off. It's got another gear lever on. It did have a Judd Racing one on it. So, I'll get it cleaned up. And then we're going to get the engine out. Got some good old silver back. Multi purpose clean it. So, yeah, let's get some uh, spray on. So, we'll move this out of the way now. Jet wash the drive down a bit. Pull some of the stuff out of the garage. Get this engine out. Okie dokie. Let's get the engine out. Radiator's out. Um, and then we're gonna load the engine up. We're gonna get it fitted. So I've decided instead of stripping it now, I'm gonna get it fitted, take the engine back out then, and then we'll mess with it. Cause I've got a friend helping me, cause I haven't got a welder. So he's helping me weld it all up, all the brackets. He's, he's absolutely amazing, honestly, with, with his work. Um, so he's going to give me a hand to make all the brackets to hold and where they need to go um, to support it all and make the brackets then hold the radiators and so on and so on and so on. There's going to be a lot of work to gain it, in, gain it done. Make sure everything's working good. So for now, let's get the, the seat and the tank and everything off. And we'll get the exhaust off, we'll get the engine out and go from there. So yes, and I've not worked on one of these ones before. So I know the thing's pretty much the same, but we've got to get the seat off and not underneath. So fuel tanks off, we'll get the exhaust off. We drain the coolant. So the downpipe can go back on actually because I'm not using this downpipe. There's another one at home. Yeah, I've left it home. Downpipe and top pipe. Um, it just needs welding up, but I've got to cut it anyway. 
So for how that sits now, it'll sit like that. And we're gonna cut this bit and so if you see how it goes like that, we're gonna do it so it goes like that. And we're gonna on the go kart then the exhaust will sit the down part will sit upwards. At the back part, sorry, will sit upwards like that instead of like that. Um but I'm not ruining this exhaust, it's quite a nice exhaust. The other one's just a stock exhaust and I believe. Um so now we'll get the carburetor off because we need the carb. We don't need the air but air boot. I'm gonna have to stick um just a little one on it. Um but it shouldn't be getting dirty so it shouldn't matter too much. Um so we don't need that. We literally need the carb, the engine the radiators and the wiring. We need that as well to get it running up, but um, apart from that, we don't need anything to do with the back of the bike. Let me get that carb off. We'll drain the coolant. Put the bucket over there. Oh, I'm gonna have to add a new hose to connect those two radiators together as well. An old piece. I'm not taking that out, that spline out. Oh no, I'm gonna have to take the spline out. So I can. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll have to. Did. They were. Get out. Okay, that's fine. I'll just have to do it. So now it should just be engine mount and clutch. We're gonna take the clutch with it. Um, so that's that wire. So for the sake of now, I'm gonna unplug it. Like if I was getting just the engine out now, I'd just unplug that and then plug it back in when I finish doing whatever I'm doing to the engine. Then we want the chain off as well. So I can get the engine out and then deal with the wiring after and then I'll just plug it back in. So chain's off, chain guard's gonna have to get fucked off. There we go. There we go. <sighs> yeah, little you. I don't lose those. <sighs> okay, so now we're gonna get the kill switch off, and the rest of this wiring loom off. Put the fuel tank and that back on. Put the exhaust back on, just like normal bolt on. Beautiful. Okay, so we're done with what we need off of the bike now. So that's that. That's how it'll be stained for a little bit. So we need these radiators. 
just need to get that two T piece off my friend. Ready for the next one. The wiring loom will get to put, put back onto that, but I'll leave it off for now. Got some bolts. Um, I'll take them with me, but we'll probably use different different ones, you know, because we've got to refabricate everything. We'll probably just get different pins. So it's a good example actually. So they will go about there. That would have been very fun to do. I've ordered tires and inner tubes, because them in the tubes are pretty much probably knackered by now. Because you can tell they've been riding it on flat tires. So those inner tubes will be knackered. So I've ordered tires, I've ordered inner tubes. It's definitely gonna be a fun little project to, to work on, that's for sure. Freshies, mate. Freshies. Won't be for long with the fucking power of this thing, Mark. The bar, going up to the shifter. See, Josh. So that's the engine, KTM 150 engine. Yeah. Uh, that's the stock down pipe, stock top pipe, but we've had to cut it and bend it. That's why it's got this tape on, so you can't see the weld marks. Okay. It's heat proof tape that is, okay. so it like, doesn't melt or anything. Uh, the tank is off a Honda lawnmower. Okay. <laughs> Rammer air filter, it's just what we could find to fit the is that a car. Yeah. So you have to kickstart it at the back? Yeah. And rev it here. Rev it there when you're starting it and then your throttle's down there after. So originally the goat car should have a lawnmower engine in it. That's why it's got a single brake because it's just a rev and go, not very fast thing. Um, so we've got to put a strengthen bar in here, stop it from folding. Strengthen bar in here. The weld extra mounting brackets and put these in to hold this engine because originally it should just sit onto like these pegs. The okay. stock engine should. Okay. Now put a bar in here to hold the radiators upright. Yeah. Um, we have to extend it here so that bar runs all the way through on the inside of the frame and it's tack welded here. Okay. To just be able to allow to put the engine in. Okay. So we have to adapt the throttle. So originally it should look like that one. Yeah. It's over the top, but it's you can't fit in it properly, so we've got to weld it. So it's outward, so you can get your foot in better. Okay. Uh, gears wise, so originally it should just have a, a, a lever that comes off that peg, across here and out like that. So your foot goes underneath it and flicks it out. Obviously you can't do that when you're sat in there. So we have to run a bar through, make a bracket here. So then you pull backwards 
for first. Yeah. Right. No, sorry. Forwards for yeah. first gear and then the rest of my back gears. Right. I'm going to have to put the clutch there instead. Bloody hell. Right. So there's been a lot of work done into it. But know. we were going to show you riding and then we just realised that the sprocket's come off. Oh. It's held in by one bolt. Great. So we can show it you started up, but not riding. I'm not riding it like that. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Okay. 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 Start the baby up then. So fuel, the carb is leaking a little bit, so it needs a bit more jetting doing. But for the sake of we're literally doing this, and then it's coming back out because it's dangerous as f <laughs> I think there's only been three people that have actually got in it. Me, Steve, and Matthew. Lewis wouldn't get in it, Ryan wouldn't get in it, all of the other lads wouldn't get in it. Wouldn't get in it. Right, why? Because it's dangerous. Because of the speed? It's low to the floor, the gear ratio we've got on the 150 engine is daft, there's no suspension. So it's like spitchy everywhere. I've got a bruise on the side of my leg here. Yeah. Yeah. It's dangerous. Okay. It's dangerous. Okay. So I'm sort of glad that the sprocket's fucked. Yeah, me too. I was a bit worried. It's our last day of filming and no one's been injured. And I was a bit like, <laughs> so and the sprocket's pipe, come off. So we're, yeah. The fuel pipe is attached to there so we can't leak. Okay. So obviously fuel comes out straight away like that. Okay. 20 bucks right there. But when it's on the carb, it's overfilling the carb. Yeah. And it needs just some adapting work doing on the carb. Okay. Um, but for the sake of the video, it does start up and ride and everything. It just floods. So eventually it'll start just pouring out the end. Okay. Carb. All right. So just in neutral. So you have to kick it like you normally would a normal motocross bike. So okay. just don't you choke. Yeah. Okay, how easy is it to get into it? It's easy to get in, but it's snug. Snug? Very snug. So you sit in and then How tall are you? Oh, I, don't know, I, mean, I don't even know. <laughs> so we had to adapt the steering, so originally the steering was down here, so your arms yeah. were sticking outwards, so you couldn't turn properly. So now it's up there a little bit, so you, your arms are a bit more tucked in. So for throttle-wise, it's, it's very weird. So that's your brake, that's your throttle. So that'll rev it, but with me revving it with my hand there, that's to get it started because you're at the back of the car. Okay. Um, but once it's started, you rev it with your foot. And then back gear, so that's first gear. So you, because it's got a crash box, so if it's going in first gear, you'd use the clutch, put it in first and then yeah. pull off yeah. with the clutch. So you have to pull off with that and that. Okay. Um, and then because it's in it, because it's got a crash box, you can just ram it in gears. So I don't understand. So first. So you don't need your clutch. As okay. a car, you'd need okay. a clutch to yeah, yeah. gear. Yeah, yeah. With this, once you've pulled off, you can just rag it into the back box. All right, okay. But then when you got to go back down the box, which yeah. is going like five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to put your clutch in and go right. back forward. So this would be awesome in a go-kart race. Um, Because it goes so fast. No, because people who race go-karts, the, the wider, they've got road tires on, right. longer axles. And some of them have proper engine, like two-stroke engines in them already. Oh right, okay. This was the fact is this engine should not be in this car. Okay. That's what makes it so dangerous. Because it's got so much power. For this chassis and everything, yeah. Right, okay. So originally this should have what? Uh, a lawnmower. Literally a lawnmower engine, which is like what? Fuck knows. I don't even know how fast that'd go. Like 10, 15 mile an hour. And this will probably do now 70. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's get uh, back to being fixed. Yeah, the headquarters. Headquarters, yeah, headquarters, right. Oh, you got out of that really easily. Yeah, you can get out of it pretty soon. Okay. 